right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Arizona Diamondbacks at Pittsburgh Pirates Game 1 preview. Now, this series should be a good series. It should be a fun series. Uh, Pittsburgh comes in at 23 and 22nd in the NL Central. The Arizona Diamondbacks come in at 25 and 19, second in the NL West. I have. The Arizona Diamondbacks lineup card and the Pittsburgh Pirates lineup card for you. And we're going to get into these right now. First, we're going to start with the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks lineup card. Here we go. Let's do it. Batting first, playing third base, Josh Rojas. He's got a 2.256 average. No home runs, 19 RBIs, and four stolen bases. Batting second, playing second base, Ketel Marte. He's got a .278 batting average, five home runs, 17 RBIs, three stolen bases, uh, and a fan favorite. And then another fan favorite, batting third, playing right field, Corbin Carroll. He's got a .279 batting average, six home runs, 14 RBIs, 10 stolen bases. Uh, and batting fourth, playing cleanup, batting cleanup. Playing first base, Christian Walker has a .268 batting average, 11 home runs, 31 RBIs, and one stolen base. Batting fifth, playing left field, Lord Escariel Jr. He's got a .310 batting average, 7 home runs, 25 RBIs, and 1 stolen base. Batting 6th, doing the DHing today. Paven Smith. He's got a .256 average, 2 home runs, 14 RBIs, and no stolen bases. So, uh, Paven Smith's got to get going. Batting 7th, doing the catching, Gabriel Moreno. He's got a .321 batting average. One home run, 17 RBIs, two stolen bases. So, having a good season. Uh, coming over from the Toronto Maple Leaf or from the Toronto Blue Jays in that trade for Dalton Varsho. He also got sent over with uh, Lloyd Escariel Jr. So, and they're both having good seasons for Arizona. Batting eighth, playing center field, Dominic Fletcher. He's got a .375 batting average, two. Two home runs, 13 RBIs, no stolen bases. And batting ninth, playing shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Three home runs, 20 RBIs, and four stolen bases. Now let's do the home lineup card for your Pittsburgh Pirates. Batting first, doing a DHing, Andrew McCutcheon. He's got a .252 average, 7 home runs, 19 RBIs, 4 stolen bases. Batting second, playing left field, Brian Reynolds. He's got a .296 average, 5 home runs, 23 RBIs, 6 stolen bases. Uh, batting third, playing center field, Sawinski. He's got a .226 average, 7 home runs, 20 RBIs, 5 stolen bases. Um, batting fourth, playing first, first base, Santana. He's got a .241 batting average, two home runs, 22 RBIs, four stolen bases. Batting fifth, playing third base, Hayes, .228 average, one home run, 10 RBIs, six stolen bases. Marcano batting sixth, playing shortstop. He's got a .259 average, one home run, three RBIs, one stolen base. Uh, Bay batting seventh, playing second base. He's got a .237 uh, average two home runs, 11 RBIs, 14 stolen bases. So the Pittsburgh Pirates like to steal bases. That's what they like to do. So Zach Gallon's got to watch this. Uh, keep an eye, throw over to the bag, and throw over to the base. Uh, is preferable, you know, mainly first base uh, and second too because these guys, I mean, they got a lot of stolen bases. These guys like to steal. We like to steal too, but. Uh, we don't have as many stolen bases as the Pittsburgh Pirates. Batting eighth, playing right field, Palacios. He's got no average, no home runs, no RBIs, and no stolen bases. Maybe his debut. And then batting ninth, 
Hedges, he's got a .172 uh, average, no home runs, seven RBIs, one stolen base. And on the mound for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Oviedo, uh, he's two and two, two and three, 5.14 ERA, uh, 36 strikeouts. Zach Gallen this season is six and one, has a 2.35 ERA with 70 strikeouts. So, uh, I feel confident with Zach Gallen on the mound. I feel real confident, um, and this this should be a fun game one. And tomorrow we got Brandon Fott uh, on the mound for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, hopefully he could get his stuff figured out. But we're facing a tough pitcher uh, tomorrow. So hopefully Zach Yellen uh, can go a long, long time tonight. So we don't have to go into our bullpen uh, because our bullpen is tired. And then on, on the finale, game three, we got Merrill Kelly going up against Contreras. So... Uh, I feel confident with uh, Merrill Kelly. Uh, I want to win this series. Uh, we go to Philadelphia next series. Um, but tonight, game one, we got to take this one game at a time. Uh, we got to keep that first wild card spot. Uh, Pittsburgh's only like a half a game behind us. So we got to win this game. Got to win tonight. Got to win this series. Uh, knock them down a little bit uh, in the wild card race. Um, and then we get ready to go to Philadelphia to take on the Philadelphia Phillies. And then we get a day off and then get to go home and play the Boston Red Sox. So uh, this should be a fun series. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking for, forward to game one tonight. Uh, and uh, Zach Gallen, I, I feel really confident. I feel confident that. Uh, he's going to go well into the eighth inning, hopefully into the ninth. But uh, I want him to go eight innings tonight, and I think he will. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Guys, stay tuned for my Los Angeles Lakers at Denver McNuggets uh, Western Conference Finals Game 2. Uh recap that's coming uh, i haven't had a chance to do that yet but it's coming and also stay tuned for my arizona diamondbacks at pittsburgh at pittsburgh pirates game one or recap this is sports dom peace go diamondbacks until the next one peace yeah bye